One of CVM's strategy to eliminate avoidable blindness is by contributing to government's efforts to eliminate NTDs in endemic countries. CBM is conscious of the fact that NTDs disproportionately affect women due to their role as caregivers. As an NTD program manager, one of the things that motivates me is that it provides me an opportunity to design inclusive and equitable programs that prioritizes women and girls. Abebo lives in the Amhara region of Ethiopia with her husband, son, and daughter Zainab. Until recently, Abebo was suffering the effects of trachoma, which was causing her eyelids to turn inwards and making her eyelashes scrape painfully against her eyeballs. Left untreated, this condition can lead to blindness. Abebo and her husband are weavers. It is their job to spin the yarn needed for the heavy white shawls to sell at the market. With her eyesight failing, this task was proving almost impossible. Trachoma is very infectious. Mothers and children are at high risk because they are often at home and in close contact with each other. Abebo's daughter Zainab was also found to have trachoma, although it was at a much earlier stage. Zainab was treated by CBM with antibiotics that stopped the disease taking hold. Abebo received surgery to halt any further deterioration of her vision. She was operated on by doctors who received training funded by CBM. Why do you think women are vulnerable to NTDs? Now, women are vulnerable to NTDs. One of the reasons is due to their social or their primary roles and responsibilities in the house. You see, the women are the ones that are the, are the home front. They're the ones that go to the stream to rest water. They're the ones that cook the food. So we're more exposed to it. Like we're more vulnerable. We're the first affected. Then secondly, because they have low cost, no money to, to seek health care, and they don't have that decisions by themselves to go and seek that health care because there is autonomy and their power that we don't have. And then thirdly, we, we are more exposed to stigma, um, discrimination and abandonment. Does it help to be a woman in your work? Are you able to address issues with female community members that men would not be able to? Yes, yeah, so as a woman in my the community, Sagwama, as a health worker, the women that come there, they confide in me. There are things that they cannot open up to men because I'm a fellow woman like them. I will start understand their challenges. Dr. Koko, why do you feel your work is important? My work is critical and it is very, very, very important. As a woman and as a medical officer of health, I'm proud, I'm proud to say that I'm a female medical officer of health. In the state, we have four, four female medical officers of health. And I'm, I'm happy that I'm one of them. I'm very important because when I go to some places, I show them that I'm a woman and I'm able to do these things. And therefore, they, their women, could also emulate and follow my step and then prevent themselves and prevent their family. And then the society will be a better place for them. So my work is very, very important. Thank you.